Good morning, YouTube. Well, actually, I got a really late start to the day, so it is actually 2.04 p.m. So I am really, really late on today's start. Um, actually, I've been working all day. Uh, I did wake up a little bit late, slept in, but now I'm finally gonna get a training session in, and I'm taking you guys with me for the ride. It's gonna be a high volume leg session, and a lot later than I usually go in, but I had some calls to get done this morning. But even if you get it in a little later than usual, just get it in during the 24 hours. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through that workout. First, let's get some pre-workout. All right, so I'm feeling, we're gonna double up on the Jeff Nippard flavors today. So we got some of that prolific kiwi lime, and then we got some high volume kiwi lime. So I'm gonna stack these together, and we're gonna get a move on. Pre-workout is tasting pretty good and pretty limey, so I think this is still left in stock. Check out the website. Not a bad flavor, not the best in my opinion for my taste buds, but still a solid flavor, so I'll double up on that flavor. Got the outfit of the day, classic uh, Steve Cook hoodie, and then we got some man pre's. Rocket some man pre's for today's workout, and these are from Adidas. I think they were like 35 bucks, but um, the good thing about them is they're a thicker material, so not too much mushroom tip action, but off to the gym. All right, so we're about to start off the workout. We are gonna be starting with, oh, let me zoom that out a little too close. So we're starting off with leg curls and the leg curls and leg extensions for 400 total reps. So that's gonna be 10 sets of each of 20 reps per set. So we're gonna be working with a good pump. Typically, I would wanna be squatting as my first exercise because I feel that's the best return um, for your quads. But again, I'm having some outer quad or abductor pain um, when I'm at the bottom portion of the squat. So still working that through. And I'm gonna show you guys the super stuff that I'm gonna do later on, which is to get blood flow to that area to help it heal up a little quicker. Um, it's a work in progress, but first we're gonna do our 400 reps. Imagine if I made you guys watch that in real time. Definitely fast forward to that a little bit. So now we're gonna be working in some leg extensions right with this guy. So 20 reps of this. And that's one of 10. I think this is the biggest light bump I've had of all time. After 360 reps, I'm really feeling it. So we got the last super set right here. And then on the hip thrust, I don't know how that's gonna go though because I'm feeling this. short on the last one but all the other ones I got the 20 reps but that one killed me so now on to the hip thrust I saw you asked about what I do for glutes uh, pretty often so this is the main movement that I do for my glute workouts um, and that's barbell hip thrust which I highly recommend for anyone competitors normal people athletes especially to throw these in uh, I'm doing sets of 15 this is my high volume workout I'm using 425 for that. Then the other days of the week, I'm doing 12, 10, 10 reps per set, and like 35 seconds. We got a super set with neutral grip lateral balance. All right, now starting up the arm super set. This is going to be all sets of 20, so lots of volume, but a little weight. Thank you. 
get really, really packed in here. Well, my man, let me borrow his bench, which is awesome. So to get some blood to the area that hurts when I squat, we are gonna do, ooh, I'm only 17% battery. <laughs> we're gonna hurry up. So we're gonna do some bad girls. We're gonna do some bad girls right here, sets of like 20 to 30, just to get a good pump in the area to get blood, because blood is nourishing. So if you get that to the area of your injury, that's usually gonna help it heal up quicker rather than slower. Just don't push so hard and heavy that you aggravate the injury. surprise um, just so Nicole will stop making fun of me for my little calves we are actually throwing in cap raises into the training program in lower days so usually I'll do like I think four sets of 10 or 12 to 20 reps so today being a high volume day it's gonna be sets of 20 and I'm gonna be focusing on like three to four seconds of set so it'll be regular concentric and slow eccentric so Finally gonna get bigger than 15 inch calves. And also I heard for like men's physique, you wanna have the same size calves versus biceps. But I got like 15 inch calves and like 17 and a half inch arms. So I got work to do. So that set felt really good, I actually felt it in my calves, and the reason I'm holding my hips as I go through it is just because sometimes I feel those like kind of cramp up or try to get involved, so by me like putting some pressure on them, for some reason mentally, it helps me just focus on my calves. I'm gonna be supersetting this in with some of those um, hamstring pulls, which I'll show you in a moment. And look who also made her way to the gym. Hello. Oh my God. So let me tell you the first thing this lady says to me when she sees me in the gym. Here, take this. So the first thing she says to me is, you're wearing my sock, which is kind of sort of true, because I can't have my long socks, because you're supposed to show some skin when you wear man briefs. The second thing she hits me up with is that the underwear that I'm wearing is kind of making yeah, a little, a little weird it. look. So now I'm self-conscious about it, so we're going to pull this down. But uh, she's here so she can film my last set of the hamstring concentric holds. So we're going to be doing that. And then that's going to do it for today's workout. So come with me. Please come with me. So for these, let's do this second group behind there. I like to put my glutes. And then I'm going to try to pull my ribcage down. And then Set. But that's gonna do it for today's workout. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna show you what we have for our post workout meal though. So, see you soon. So, that was Neptune Night at Rutgers. Nicole's brother Nathan is now a student over at Rutgers, so he got us in. It's like two guest wipes per person, and uh, I think it knocked out like all of them at that one day. But it's all you can eat lobster and just like a bunch of other seafood. So I ended up having 30 lobsters last year. There's a video of that if you want to check that out. And in this one, I only had like 13 because I wanted them still to taste good because after 15, they don't taste as good. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep it flexible. I'll see you.